subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. In this electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, there are four ions present in the electrolyte. Only one ion will be discharged at each carbon electrode. How do you determine which ion will be discharged? Yes, for such condition where the electrolyte is a dilute solution and the electrodes are inert electrodes, we use electrochemical series to determine which ions will be discharged during electrolysis. Have you ever wondered how the electrochemical series is constructed? Can it be done in the lab? At the end of the lesson, students should be able to Describe the principles used in constructing the electrochemical series and Construct the electrochemical series What is electrochemical series? Electrochemical series is an arrangement of metals based on the tendency of each metal atom to donate electrons to form ions in an aqueous solution. Metal with the greatest tendency to donate electrons will be placed in the highest position of the electrochemical series. Metal with the lowest tendency to donate electrons will be placed in the lowest position of the electrochemical series. How is the electrochemical series constructed? Electrochemical series can be constructed based on the potential difference between two metals immersed in a salt solution and the ability of a metal to displace another metal from its salt solution. Let us construct the electrochemical series based on the potential difference between two metal strips. Five unknown metals are labeled as A, B, C, D, and E. Copper is fixed as one of the electrodes. Click the unknown metal to complete the cell. Record the voltage obtained in the data table. And from the voltage readings, determine which metal is the negative terminal of the cell. Click on the Analyze button when you are done. How can we construct an electrochemical series based on the potential difference of the two metals? Look at the data. Construct the electrochemical series based on the data. Metal in the highest position in the electrochemical series is the unknown metal with the largest voltage readings and the lowest in the electrochemical series is the unknown metal with the smallest voltage readings. Now. Click and drag button A, C, D, E and copper to complete the electrochemical series. Well done! you have successfully constructed an electrochemical series. From the data and the electrochemical series, we can see that metals showing the highest voltage or potential difference are metals which are placed furthest apart in the series. The metal that acts as a negative terminal will be placed higher in the electrochemical series than the metals that acts as the positive terminal.
Let us construct the electrochemical series based on the ability of a metal to displace another metal from its salt solution. There are four types of solutions. Magnesium nitrate solution, zinc nitrate solution, lead 2 nitrate solution and copper 2 nitrate solution in four separate test tubes. There are also four metal strips, magnesium, zinc, lead and copper. The metal strip will appear on top of each test tube, beginning with magnesium, then zinc, lead and copper. Click on the metal strip to place it in the test tube. Observe what happens. Record all observations in the observation table by dragging the symbol representing the displacement reaction or the symbol representing no reaction occurs. Let's begin. How can we construct an electrochemical series based on the displacement of metal reaction? Look at the data. Which metal will be placed at the highest position and which metal will be placed at the lowest position of the electrochemical series? Click and drag the metal buttons to complete the electrochemical series. Well done, you have successfully constructed an electrochemical series. Magnesium is at the top of the electrochemical series because it can displace all other metals from their salt solutions. And likewise, copper is placed at the bottom of the electrochemical series because it cannot displace any metals from their salt solution. We can write equation to represent what happens during displacement of metals in salt solution. For example, the displacement of zinc metal in copper to sulfate solution to give zinc sulfate and copper. Let's write the chemical equation to represent the displacement reaction. Click the check button when you're done. Now, let's write the ionic equations. First, Write the equation in a form of ion. Examine the equation. Can you name the ion that does not change? Yes, the sulfate ion does not change. Such ion is called spectator ion. The spectator ion is not written in the ionic equation. Now, can you write the ionic equation? Press the check button when you are done. Now, let's sharpen your skill. Key in the chemical and ionic equations in the spaces provided. Then, click the check button. In this lesson, you have learned that the electrochemical series can be constructed based on the potential difference between two metals. The larger the potential difference between the metals, the further the metals will be placed in the series. The metal which is higher in the series will be the negative terminal. 
metal displacement reaction. A metal which is placed higher in the electrochemical series can displace another metal placed lower in the series from its salt solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.